Welcome to Section 1. Introduction, the power of speech in ILTS. The ILTS speaking test, it can seem scary, but don't worry. It's your chance to shine, to show that you can communicate in English. This section is crucial as it influences your overall score. Let's break it down. We'll explore each part, providing you with practical tips and easy to follow advice, so you'll feel more prepared and more confident. Ready to ace the ILTS speaking test. Moving on to section two, part one, warm up and first impressions. This is a crucial part of your ILT speaking test where first impressions are made. Think of part one as a friendly chat. It's designed to help you ease into the conversation and feel more comfortable. The examiner will ask about familiar topics like work, hobbies, family, simple. These are subjects you talk about every day, so just be yourself. Here are some tips to help you shine. Tip one, relax. Just be yourself and speak naturally. The examiner wants to hear you. Take a deep breath and think of it as a normal conversation. Tip two, listen carefully and answer the question directly. Don't go off topic. Pay attention to what is being asked and respond accordingly. And tip three, give full answers. Don't just say yes or no, explain your reasons. Elaborate on your answers to show your language skills and provide more information. Practice these tips regularly to build your confidence. The more you practice, the more natural it will feel. Now let's dive into section three, part two, your time to shine. This is the moment where you get to showcase your speaking skills and impress the examiner. Part two is your time to talk. This is your opportunity to shine and demonstrate your ability to communicate effectively in English. You get a topic card, have one minute to prepare, and then you speak for one to two minutes. This preparation time is crucial, so use it wisely. Here's how to make the most of it. Follow these tips to ensure you deliver a compelling and well-structured speech. Tip one, use the minute wisely. Jot down keywords to help structure your talk. These keywords will serve as a roadmap, guiding you through your speech. Tip two, tell a story, make it personal. This makes your speech more interesting and engaging. Personal stories resonate more with the listener and make your speech memorable. Tip three, don't worry about finishing early. It's about quality, not quantity. Focus on delivering a clear, concise, and coherent speech rather than trying to fill the time. Practice makes perfect. Rehearse your speech multiple times to build confidence and ensure smooth delivery. The more you practice, the more comfortable you will feel during the actual test. Seek feedback from friends or mentors. Constructive criticism can help you identify areas for improvement and refine your speaking skills. Remember, this is your time to shine. Embrace the opportunity, stay confident, and give it your best shot. Good luck. Section four, part three, focuses on a deeper dive and discussion. This is where the conversation gets more intricate and thought-provoking. In this part, the examiner will ask you more abstract questions that relate to the topic you discussed in part two. These questions are designed to test your ability to think on your feet and explore the subject matter in greater depth. Here are a few tips to help you excel in this section and make a lasting impression. Tip one, give your opinions and support them with examples. When you provide examples, it shows that you can back up your thoughts with concrete evidence, making your arguments more compelling and believable. This demonstrates your ability to think critically and analyze the topic from different angles. Critical thinking is a valuable skill that examiners look for. Tip two, don't be afraid to say you don't know something. It's perfectly okay to admit when you're unsure about a topic. It's better to be honest and show your willingness to learn. Honesty can often lead to a more genuine and engaging conversation. Then, try to give a related answer. Even if you don't know the exact answer, you can still contribute to the discussion by connecting it to something you are familiar with. Tip three, listen carefully to the examiner's questions. Active listening is crucial because it helps you understand the nuances of the question and respond appropriately. They might guide you with hints that can help you formulate your responses. Pay attention to these subtle cues as they can provide valuable insights into what the examiner is looking for in your answer. Take a moment to think before you respond. This shows that you are considering the question carefully and are not rushing to give an answer. 
Remember, the goal is to engage in a meaningful discussion that showcases your ability to think deeply and articulate your thoughts clearly. We've reached the conclusion of our guide. Speak with confidence, achieve your dreams. The ILT speaking test doesn't have to be a daunting experience. With practice and these tips, you can succeed. Remember to relax, be yourself, and speak clearly. This is your opportunity to showcase your English skills and ace that test. Your dreams are truly within reach.